are you? Please come on, take a seat, make yourself at home. Okay, so today, as you probably know, we are going to be working with your sacral chakra. Okay, now the sacral chakra is located just below your belly button, your tummy button. Okay, and it is the center of not just your sexuality or you know the physical aspect of your sexuality but also the center of your creativity too and these two things are linked in terms of reiki and sh chakra balance so what we're going to be working on today we're not we're not necessarily going to concentrate on the sexual aspect we're going to look at the creative aspect so we're going to work on your um sacral chakra to improve your creativity to improve your ability to create which is why it is linked to sexuality because intercourse is designed to procreate um, but we're looking at it from a holistically creative perspective so about the ability to create anything whether that be art uh, romance, food, support, anything. And that's not just creating it for other people, but creating it to satisfy yourself as well. Okay? So we're looking at the way that you can use your sacral chakra to create very broadly. Just give me two seconds. God to get your stone. I'm sorry. It's an agate. And this one's associated with the sacral chakra. As usual, charged, ready to go. You can do the same. Um, it's quite a robust area because it's just below your navel. It's also a fairly vulnerable area. Um, I won't necessarily be touching it so a lot of the work we're doing is just about clearing up the flow to that area, okay? But we're gonna start off, as usual, by lighting your candle. Here it is. And let's get this lit. Okay. Well, that smells good already. So here's your candle, and the intention is to open up the path to creativity, all right? That means using all of your facets in conjunction with one another to allow the flow of energy, of chi, to your sacral chakra so that it can be expounded in a way that is creative and productively creative, all right? So that is our intention. We have our stone, the agate, here. And now we are going to do some breathing exercises to help limber up your lower abdominals. Ready for this. So we're going to do some deep breathing, uh, very similar to how we did with the solar plexus, OK? Um, I want you to actually put your hand just below your belly button, so really on <laughs> kind of the gut, all right? And hold your hand there and concentrate on breathing from that area, okay? And we're gonna actually do four, 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 triple four breaths, which can be challenging for some. So if you can't keep up, or if you don't feel like you can breathe out or breathe in that much, don't worry about it, okay? Just do as much as you're comfortable with and just try to keep up if you can. It's not a race, okay? So let's do it with me. Let's go in. Hold. Really breathe from that lower abdominal in. Hold. And out. Okay, one more time. In. Hold. And out. Beautiful. 
one of the things about breathing is that actually it doesn't really matter because you might notice that I'll be counting and sometimes it'll be longer than four or shorter than four or whatever. It's not actually the specific length of time. It's maintaining and manipulating your breath for a set period denoted or defined by you. But it doesn't matter if your five counts is actually three, actually eight. It doesn't matter. What matters is you controlling your breathing manually, if you see. Well, I mean, that's not incredibly clearly communicated. I appreciate but I hope that you can see kind of what I mean. Anyway, with that in mind, let's get in here and start doing some very gentle hand movements to clear up your sacral chakra and enable you to create on a beautiful holistic level because we all create in one way or another okay i'm not talking about you know you don't have to go and write a song or anything like that all you need to do is create and like i said it could be just as simple as making a nice meal for someone or making a joke it's all creating creating joy creating time creating time for somebody else creating time for you as well we give ourselves a hard time about not spending time with ourselves we think if we're just lazing about on the couch or whatever that <laughs> we're somehow wasting time when we're not any time spent with yourself is time well spent on yourself so don't ever don't ever feel guilty about just lying on a couch okay don't do it enough and in the same way that we don't spend enough quality time with people watching TV is fine but really are you engaging with that other person I'm not criticizing I watch TV all the time and don't talk for hours but it's important to balance that with excuse me good quality time whatever that may be that's independent to you maybe TV is your quality time <laughs> that's fine too I don't mind it's not for me to judge at all nowadays I'm just using the um, wand the selenite wand really just to tease out bits that are responsive or just just like a little bit more difficult so this here there we go it's just a little one but you gotta get it out there's a big one here okay just getting a bit closer there we go sacral chakra is because they might have kind of universal rider's block you know like no matter what you're doing you just hit a brick wall you can't think of anything else or you cannot come up with something even a solution to any kind of like a problem like a math problem or whatever um, working on your sacral chakra can help you to find answers to those questions because it it um, cultivates a kind of curious intelligence and creativity to solve problems because creativity is problem solving it's your ability to see something you want 
or see something you think should exist and find a way to make it. And so a lot of the time when people have like a kind of writer's block or get stuck in themselves and can't work out how to move forward, one of the old tricks for writers specifically, but it can apply to anyone, is to sit down and write, well, I'm, I'm sure I've told you before, or write one sentence. Because invariably, you can write a sentence. That's no, that's no big deal. And also, when you write one sentence, you're significantly more likely to write more. And so then you will always exceed your goal of writing one. And you'll feel good about yourself. You'll get a nice little sort of serotonin exchange and stuff like that. Um, but you can apply the same rule to anything that you do. Like if you're a musician and you really want to write a song, but you don't know where to begin, you say, okay, I'll just write one lyric, one line of music, you know, a couple of bars or whatever. And you'll write more when you start strumming on chords or whatever, you'll write more. And you can see how that sort of like teasing yourself into it can be extended to a variety of different things that all actually are creative pursuits. Go on a vacation. Where do I go? Well, choose the first stop and you know go and then work it out from there. That's creative. Creativity is a word that some people don't think they deserve. It's a word that some people think is reserved for others who achieve great things, achieve great art. But everyone is creative. And it saddens me when people say to me that they're not. I'm like, well, you are. It's become an exclusive word. A pretentious word but in its purest form it's a beautiful word and fundamentally we are put on this planet to create to create life to create joy and to create a better world for the people who come after us oops sorry and I mean maybe we just forget that sometimes maybe it's good to be reminded. I'm getting preachy. I apologize. I just mean... <laughs> just be creative and make people smile. That's all. That's what I believe. Just make people happy. Why wouldn't you wanna? <laughs> Why wouldn't you wanna? <laughs> okay. I know this was a short session and it was mainly just me babbling about being kind, but I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll be on to the final chakra cleanse that we'll be doing in this particular series. And then we'll be back to more uh, general sessions, but with twists. We'll talk about that later. So let's just do your Reiki symbol. So, and there you go. Get home and you make something. No matter what, it'll be beautiful. Okay, until next time. Bye bye.